Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. A while back, I did a video review on this. This is a solar generator. Basically, it has a lithium battery in here. It has multiple different inputs where you can charge it up through the wall. You can charge it up with your car or you can charge it up with solar. So I have been charging it up with the wall, okay? Right now it's completely dead and there's no power at all on it. The battery is showing 0% capacity there. And actually this is the cable that they gave me to charge it up with a solar, but I've never had a solar panel to charge it up with until now. So Booj RV hit me up and said, hey, we have a hundred watt flexible solar panel. Would you like to try it out on the channel? And at first I was thinking, yeah, what could I use with this panel? Because I just don't want to give you a product and just show you a product and I can't use it. Well, I started thinking about it and I said, you know what? I could probably use it with this right here, a little solar generator. This is a hundred watt panel. I've not opened the box yet, as you can see there. So today, let's go ahead and open the box, check out the solar panel and plug it into here. They sell these uh, on their website. I'll place links in the description below where you can check them out at. So the panel, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but it's actually wrapped up inside this small box. It looks like it's very long. So as you can tell, this is a very tall panel. I'm like 6'1", 6'2", and with the panel resting on the ground, it's actually taller than I am. Let's measure the actual width of the panel itself. And it comes in just under 14 inches, right around 13 and 3 quarters to be exact. So it comes in at 78 and 3 quarter inches long. On the back of the panel, it's got like two-sided tape where you could put it down on some kind of surface that doesn't have to be flat, it could be curved. So the panel is showing, it's a 100 watt panel. We're gonna put that to the test today. That's all the specs of the panel itself. So we got our cables that came with the Blue Eddy EB55 here, the PV cables, and they fit directly into the same slot here. So these are standard connectors, red to red, black to black. They clip into place. Let's go ahead and plug these into the Blue Eddy and see exactly what kind of uh, wattage is coming out of the panel on a sunny day going into the Blue 80 EV55. Right now is at 24, 29 watts, 30 watts. I'm gonna let it take its time here. Once it kind of maxes out, I'll come back to you in just a second. So the wattage input is fluctuating between like 22 and 35 watts input. And it's doing that because the cloud cover is going between the sun and earth. So with that being said, the brighter it gets, the more watts, like right now we're at 38 watts input, 39 watts input. So panel placement is very important. As you can see how long this is, took a ladder, folded it out, pointed up towards the sun there. Let's see exactly what kind of watts we're getting now. getting right at 70 watts, 69 watts, 70 watt input on the solar panel now. So solar panel placement is definitely something to think about. We've already charged this uh, EB55 up to 60%. This morning it was completely dead. All right, so it's uh, afternoon now, a little past six, and you can see there's no light here at all. Pretty much the shade and the box here. There's no watts going in, but we've made it to 80%. Yep, battery's dead. Let's right here, put this on the charger, the solar panel used to charge up and see if we can charge the battery up. All right guys, the charger to the battery is fully charged. Uh, the charger went for two hours and 10 minutes. All right, so I just got finished cutting the front yard. Let's see exactly what kind of battery we have left as far as the charge goes. Well, 
only dropped one bar, so I think that's pretty good.